Hey YouTube, Donnery13 here again. Another beer review number or something or another. Anyways, we got the, something fresh in New Brunswick. We got the Ephemer Black Current from Unibrow. Or Unibrue, whatever the hell they're always say. Something new. 5% alcohol by volume. It's from Quebec. I might even know. And. Now what do we got in the back here? Ephemera Black Current is an inclusive fruity beer. It's powerful yet balanced black current aroma and will provide you with an unforgettable sensory experience. Please don't miss out on this pleasure as it will only be ephemeral. Wow. Nina Brown from Sean Bay, Quebec. All that fun stuff. And I don't know what it is, but I always like the Unibrow bottles. Always like a good looking, you know. I haven't just disappointed by the beer yet, so let's try this one. <clears throat> what it is, but when I was younger, these all the Quebec beers used to come with this gold foil on them. <clears throat> I don't know what's what for, but especially Brador, Brador beer from up north. It came from Quebec. That was an interesting one. <clears throat> Ooh, definitely get the current off it. Wow, <clears throat> it's 5.5. .5. It almost smells like a cooler. Hmm. Take a peek. He's making rock out of it on the deck. Fuck off you. And a little overpour there, but he's the, the head on it is almost a pink, slight light pink color. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's like a pinkish, orange, just orangey, like <clears throat> reddish kind of ale going on here. A little stinker. Still getting that, uh, almost a pineapple, like, not a pineapple taste, like a, like a citrus taste, or a smell, I mean. A lot of citrus. A lot of that berry, the currant. Slight beer smell. Like, anyways, let's give her a taste. Huh. That's quite interesting. Not as quite as thick as I thought it would have been. <clears throat> it's very light tasting. It's got a slight uh well, there's still a lot of carbonation going on there. It is fairly murky. Not too bad. It's a good looking beer. Like I said, the light purple or light pink uh, head on it. Hey, you're getting almost a light beer smell. It's quite good though. Getting citruses and uh, like I said a fair amount of current. Quite pleasant on that. <clears throat> excuse me, on the back, and you're almost getting that, uh, like that tart, like uh, like berry or fruit taste. It's quite nice. I'm not sure how many you could probably, you probably, I don't know, have two or three of them, anyways. <clears throat> but it's not terrible. Not terrible by any means. Actually, pretty good. Pour the rest in here. Quite the color on it, and the head is just uh, the color of the head's crazy. <clears throat> I'm 
like a cold beer after mowing the lawn. I just came in, all full of hair and dirt. Well, that too. All full of fucking grass and everything else. That beat. Well, there's a few flotationers in the bottom of her. Bits. <laughs> it's fine with me. Yeah. I wonder if this is unfiltered. Quite good. <clears throat> yeah, I'll probably go with a salad or something. We're gonna have it with dinner. Yeah, it's a good beer. I'd say if you can get it, get it. Give it a go. I give it probably six five. It's a little, uh, sort of a little fruity. A little too fruity with the uh, berries, berry taste name for me, but it is quite, it's a really good beer. So yeah, 6.5 I'd say. I'd definitely drink it again. Anyways, see you later guys.